FirstOnline.com. What's going on, Marcus? This is uh, Chuck Taylor with First Online, man. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Oh, man, thank you for having me, Oh, man, definitely. Um, well, I'm going to lean into these questions. And, uh, you know, the first question that I have on behalf of First Online is we learn life lessons every day. And what would you say would be maybe, you know, three of these life lessons that you feel remain relevant with you from your music career debut to the current situation now? Uh, I would say the number one life lesson I've learned through time I started to now with me playing humble. Uh, you know, you meet so many entertainers and there's so many people that, that do what you do. You know, so many talented people out there. But I think, you know, um, in order to gain the full blessing that, that, you know, that I'm in for you, you must stay humble, you know, and, and uh, give God the credit, you know, for me at least, you know. And um, I'll say another life lesson that I learned is never to party too hard. <laughs> That definitely works, man. I can understand both sides of that. Um, secondly, Immature, IMX, and Marcus Houston, the solo artist. What has that transition been like? And do you feel like going solo was uh, the better decision for you? Well, I, I do feel like going solo was a better decision for me as an artist because a lot of times when you're in a group, you don't necessarily get to branch out and experience your own ideas and, and be creative because, you know, a group is a better as a group, you know, it's like a basketball team. If you're looking at a basketball team, they have to come together as a team, wear the same uniform. You know, you, you can't you can't go out the court and be the point guard. You feel like wearing red that day. And your team color is blue. You can't wear red. You know, but as, as an individual, as a solo artist, you can kind of get a little more creative and it's more, it, it becomes the music, you can write songs that, that you relate to, you know, and it becomes more about, about you. So I would say, it wasn't better, but it was, you know, it was different. You know, it's a lot different from being in a group than being on solo. It's a lot more, it's a lot more creative control. And I think the older you get, the easier it becomes to be a solo artist. I think the harder it is to be in a group because you have so many different, you know, personalities and different ideas and kind of, you know, it doesn't, it's not in a negative way, but a lot of times when you see a lot of groups that are separate ways because of that, you know, you have three members in a group three different creative ideas, how do you get to work? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if it becomes to where creative and you become stuck and you just want to branch out and do your thing. So, you know, my thing was, it wasn't about being creative and stuff or anything like that. I think, you know, we all collectively decided as a unit, you know, there was time for me to, you know, push forward and do my own thing. So, you know, uh, but we all still get along, you know, talk to each other all the time, you know, we get a lot of Romeo, we actually work together. Y'all know that Romeo. I don't know the show. It's just a big difference between the two. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Naked, Sex With You, Do You Mind, and the list goes on of, you know, classic R&B music you've uh, put out. What do you think the industry is missing right now as far as R&B? Um, I think it's missing me. <laughs> Good answer. You know, I think um, the industry has become so overwhelmed with pop music and you know uh just just wants that the upbeat dance track and performance music that people have forgotten the songs that made them you know want to have babies and made them get sexy and put you in the mood like the Joe season and, you know the naked and stuff like that and i think what what it is missing is that just that the music that makes you feel good inside that you can relate to. Not, I mean, I, and I don't knock dance music. I love dance music. I love all the music that's out right now. You know, but, you know, I, I think it becomes to a point where it's so overwhelmed with hip hop and pop that people forgot about R&B music and forgot how it made them feel. And I think that's what the industry is missing right now is, is that hearing. Mm, okay. I definitely can uh, respect that and I definitely agree to that too to uh, a certain extent. You know, I have some similar feelings. Um, you took a stab at acting for a while and then took a, a, a so it may seem hiatus. Is this something that you plan to continue or is there anything in the works right now? We have a couple of projects in the works right now developing my own television series and, you know, um, 
a lot of projects in development. I started up my own uh, television and film company, which we released Battle for America this past year in the summer, which is a dance movie did really well. Made on BET and it really, really did really well for us. So, you know, definitely, you know, getting into more behind the scenes of, you know, production and, you know, producing maybe some television series or, you know, uh, some movies and stuff like that. And hopefully get back on the silver screen uh, sometime soon. You know, I, I've always loved uh, comedy and acting. This is specifically custom a number of uh, television series as well. So, you can definitely look forward to seeing me on the, on the small screen pretty soon. Okay, that works. We get you back on the screen. No more go home, Roger. We're going to have some new stuff. <laughs> Okay, so um, in 2011, there was a, a rumor that IMX would reunite. What's kind of the status on that? Uh, well, the rumor is not, it's not a rumor because we have, you know, we did a couple of pitches together and we have been talking about, you know, possibly doing another album. But it's, just, it's all about timing again, you know, uh, with me being a solo artist and having all things on my, on my plate, you know, it's just about really coming out at the right time. You know what I mean, and uh, coming up with the right, the right uh, direction and where we want to go. But you know, we definitely are talking about doing another, uh, another Iron Man with the immature album that we need. Okay, okay. Well, you know how the rumor mill churns, man, and there's more rumors out there. They want to know: Are you engaged? I'm not engaged, but I've um, been in a relationship for about five years now. I'm very happy with my relationship. I'm not engaged yet. Okay, okay, with respect to that, we gotta respect healthy relationships today. So, your sixth album is slated for a 2013 release, and it's Valentine's debate, uh, Valentine's Day to be exact. With Speechless being on the single in rotation right now, what are some other singles that's gonna follow? Uh, well, we have a, a, a line of singles right now, we're just trying to pick on which, which one will be the best follow up. Um, so you know, you never know. We, we, we just go see how the pieces does and see the reaction has been wonderful. And I just want to, you know, thank all of, all the people out there and all the fans and everybody that's been supporting But, you know, coming back to the music scene after a couple of years, you know, you never know what to expect. You know, you don't know if people are going to accept it again. And, you know, so I, I'm just, I'm just blessed again. I thank God for everybody, you know, showing me such uh, love and support on the single. So, you know, we're not trying to rush anything. You know, we're going to we, we got the pieces out there. The video will be dropping soon and we're going to see how that does. And, you know, we'll, we'll be able to, you know, pick a follow-up. But hopefully my fans can be involved with picking the next thing or, or you know, however we decide to do it. But I definitely, this album is for my fans because they're the ones who inspired this next album. You know, when I felt like I was, you know, moving on to more film and television and stuff like that, kind of behind the scenes, having my own label and artist, you know, fans requesting and demanding another album. So I was like, you know, let me get in the studio and uh, get my fans what they what they want. So I, I thank them for giving me that inspiration to go back to the studio. So you, know, you never know what's going to happen. Right, right. Well, okay. So what what's going to be different um, from previous albums with this one? Is it going to be more R&B feel back to what we were just talking about? Or is it going to be, you know, a mixture of the dance tracks and kind of what's, what's hot right now? Well, I'm not opposed to doing dance music or, you know, stuff like that, but I think the, the general, you know, purpose of this album is bringing that good r and music back, you know what I mean? And uh, I think the, the majority of this playlist will be, you know, I like to make albums that you can just put on and don't repeat, I mean, don't, don't skip. You gotta repeat, you gotta have your repeat chance, but I don't like to skip albums, you know, I, I like to make an album that hopefully you can put the whole thing on and listen from track one to the end and, and ride to it, so. It's definitely gonna be an album that you can always pop in and listen to, clean up to. You know, definitely, uh, you know, get your own dance on to. And you know, hopefully, um, hopefully the people love it. I just, I really want to make an album where I think I want everybody to say I love the album. I don't want anybody to say, and I know that's probably impossible because you got your haters out there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm not talk trash, but hopefully, I can make a, a classic album that everyone loves. Much success to you. Um, so, in in, in 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 final, you know, where can producers, songwriters, and fellow artists? How can they reach out to you? You know, man, give me a shout out to your Twitter. To you know, how can people get in contact with you? Definitely um, follow me on Twitter. It's at Marcus Schuster, M A R Q U E S H O U S T O N. Also, hit me up on my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. It's at Real Marcus Houston. That's R A L M A R Q U E S. And, um, you know, it's, I'm always looking for new talent and everything and songs, stuff like that. You can hit me on my Gmail, which is Marcus Houston Booking. 
at gmail.com. Versed online. Duck. <laughs>